Welcome, I'm Tim, graphicsediting.org. Please like and subscribe if you find this video helpful and you want more videos just like it. And in this um, video, let's go ahead and get to the question. How do I create a text document and export it as a PDF using GIMP? That's a good question. Um, sometimes you, maybe you're doing your homework and you got to create some kind of printed up um, page for your teacher or maybe you're trying to get a job and you're trying to print your resume up or maybe you need some documents for uh, maybe Little League or flyers you're passing around the neighborhood or there's like a lot of different reasons that you could you know like verification um, documents that you might want to give to somebody you're trying to get an approval with so there's a lot of reasons you'll need a, a document that you need in PDF format so you can print it easily uh, from your computer or possibly the UPS store FedEx store FedEx office whatever so go ahead and start up GIMP and I'm going to show you the basic fundamentals of creating a text document first using GIMP so what you're going to do is you're going to go to file new and right here where you get the image size go ahead and change the pixels setting to inches and the reason is is that your typical copy paper is going to be 8.5 inches by 11 inches uh, tall so that's the normal size of copy paper and in advanced options click white background unless you want to just print up all your ink but <laughs> I'd like to save some ink for the next time I need it so I think you should do the same and then hit OK. Now we have an eight and a half by 11 copy paper basically in front of us. So hit the magnifying glass and start just outside the top left. Click and hold your mouse drag to just outside the bottom right. And then we're zoomed in now. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on the A for the text tool and go ahead and start out here and then I'll drag across and we'll just type something like uh, PDF document and maybe we'll click on text to start a new text down here um, you didn't actually have to click on it again but uh, I think it's good visual for you but I'm gonna drag kinda like start start up here on the left create a box basically just inside of here and if you want to add a little bit of margin you can but I would prefer for you to do that from within these settings and the reason is, is because when you drag your box to the left side of the paper and then the right side of the paper and you're on the centered setting it's your text is automatically going to be centered so and even if we do like a left align which I'm getting ready to do you can adjust uh, your alignments over here and make it so that you're off of the side and you can always just drag it in a little bit if you need to um, it's easier that way well it's centered yeah it makes sense but if you're gonna do left align then I'll just start that start that way and then I'll just drag it in a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click in here and just start typing something so this is the body of our page and then we'll make some other stuff like ya da da and then we can go down here and put the date today's date is um, January this is not the real date but uh, January the 1st and then we'll put like 2025 so if you're watching this in January the 1st 2025 hello make sure you're subscribed so once we finish that let's go ahead and um, we'll just add some extra little lines just kind of fill up the page a little bit nothing really it's just 
filling up the page. And from there, I'm going to go ahead and copy one more in. I just like to see the page full. Okay. There we are. Now that I have my text document done, um, and say I want to center that a little bit more, I can go back over here to the body area and I can drag this in until it looks centered and I can get it perfect if I want to but for the purpose of this I'm just showing you how to create the document which we've done and export it as a PDF before you export it though go to file save and save it on your desktop as um, your document whatever you want to call it and just hit save or hit enter and what will happen is it'll automatically save it as a .xcf file and when you hover over it you can see that it's a basically it's a GIMP project folder uh, GIMP project file so you can double click on that anytime and get back to your project from where you left off now when you get ready to actually uh, export it as a PDF I would start from the bottom and then work your way up the layers and right click and hit merge down merge down once you got them all merged into one layer hit file export I'm gonna save mine on the desktop and we'll go ahead and call it the ready PDF well that might be confusing so I'll just say the ready doc document and then hit dot PDF and then so once you typed dot PDF hit export and you can keep these the same as the default hit export and that should be it so we should be able to go over here and ta-da so here we go ready document PDF right there ta-da double click on it and there's your PDF document this is the body of our page ya da da January 1st, 2025, and now we could go ahead and file, print, and we could print our PDF just like that's perfect. And I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe, and more videos like this are on the way. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you.